For the past, I would say, two years, I've been working on parking meters, upcycling them and turning them into urban diorama sculptures. It's all banged up. All smashed up. Graffiti. Not very good graffiti, but graffiti nonetheless. Then I transform it into much better art. I saw that the city was getting rid of all these meters, so I felt like, hey, you know, if you put something inside the glass, you could pretty much like remake this whole object. And if you paint it and do something with it, you could create some New York City scenes within the parking lot. What happened was that I started doing this on the street, uh, building out these scenes inside of the meters that were already existing, that were already empty. Then I took photos, like these photos that I have here, and I sold a lot of these prints. And they were like, you know, you should just get the meters from the city. I'm like, yeah, that's a good idea. So that's how it evolved into actually getting the physical meter so I could just be more elaborate and build more stuff out with them. I was born and raised in New York. Uh, these are all New York City meters. They've they spent pretty much as much time on the streets as I have. So they, they I think they earned their stripes. They definitely got beat up, knocked around, um, went through all sorts of weather, like any good New Yorker. So this is their like second chance at something, a second life. And giving them like a good retirement by turning them into something better. These are one of a kind pieces. Uh, no one else is making these, uh, they're all unique, and they will pretty much last two or three lifetimes. They're made out of steel and iron, they're all clear-coated, you could leave them out in the rain, you could bang them with a sledgehammer, they're not going anywhere. They will outlast me. I, I wonder where they're going to be in a hundred years because, you know, when I'm dead, they're still going to be around. <laughs>